Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video As you guys can see, there's not much going on on my face I don't have any makeup on except uh, my lip tint from Lancome and a little bit of mascara And these brows right here, oh my goodness, they need some help So I decided to review a product The product is a Godfroy tint kit for spot coloring uh, now this product is uh, not uh, necessarily intended to use for brows and lashes this cold sore doesn't look good on the camera oh my goodness this product is uh, normally used to color your beard your mustache temples sideburns anywhere that needs a little color a lot of people use this product on their brows and just from my experience guys i have to let you know i have not seen any irritation i have not seen any sensitivity that has uh, that this product developed on my skin and i did not see any side effects when you use this product just be very very careful do not get this product on your eyes it does say on the box you know the caution this brows right here i have tinted them about three days ago now this is the fourth day that this one is on and it has faded quite a bit so i have to retint again i believe the brow tints usually last for uh, four to five weeks on my case it's lasting only for a few days so still it's better than penciling every single day or when you wake up in the morning and you want to go to the gym and uh, you need to put some brows on especially on my case i cannot go outside without you know putting some brows on so at least it cuts down the time that i do spend you know uh, working on my brows so far it is doing the job so i thought i would sit down and share what i normally do with this product now when you get this product it does come with its own instructions list you can use this product to dye your gray hair as well by the way as they say it is supposed to last for five to six weeks on the hair but on my case again as you guys can see it's not lasting that long now i do have the shade medium brown this does come with 20 pre-measured color capsules like this one i have used several of them so i have tried several times already and it does come with the cream developer as well with 3% uh, oxidant this is pretty much like a you dyeing your own hair you know how you get the color and you get the developer on the side and then it does come with uh, a measuring cup as well that you can use to mix the product and it does come with this brush as well with the angle tip I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these capsules and then I put it in this uh, mixing cup or bowl so this is one capsule right in the mixing cup and now the developer you're gonna get uh, one fourth of teaspoon and mix it with this um, color mm, about this much i'm just eye measuring it because i've been doing it for a while now you just have to make sure that the um the solution achieves the cream consistency make sure to mix it really well this is how it's supposed to look like as you guys can see it has achieved this creamy consistency and to be honest one capsule is enough like more than enough for both of your brows i think i wore the wrong t-shirt here <laughs> for this video but anyway you're just gonna get the brush and the draw it on your brows you guys can see in some areas the solution looks much darker because I do have hair especially the tail of my brows I don't have much hair and as you guys can see it looks a little bit light and I make sure to cover those areas really well just be very very careful not to get it on your go ahead and leave it on for let's see about five to six minutes right now it is 12 
59. Some people leave it on for about the one to two minutes, maximum two minutes, because they just want to dye their hair. But in my case, I have to dye my skin as well in order to get the, you know, even, um, what do you call it, even coverage. Another thing, by the way, guys, um, when you do wash your face, do not scrub the eyebrows. It's gonna make it fade faster. All right, guys, it's been about seven minutes, as you guys can see. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wash it off and uh, I will be right back. This is the end result. It does look really natural. It did leave a little sparse area right here. I think I wasn't, you know, I wasn't doing it evenly. This is literally how I normally paint my own brows. If I would have to use a pencil, powder, or pomade, this is the uh, result that I always look for. Considering that, you know, I don't have to worry about this disappearing, like uh, when I wash my face, at least uh, that it's gonna last for a few days. I think it's really worth it. It really does give you that kind of powdery uh, look. When you do use a powder on the brows, it really does uh, look the same. I love that. Yeah, I think this would be my review on the product, guys. In case you are interested about the best selling a product on Amazon that has been, you know, a use for brow tinting. I really hope this video has helped you to get an idea about this product and uh, think whether this product is really worth it or not. You know, in my case, uh, this is not a bad choice if you are looking for just a temporary solution where you don't have to worry about, you know, your brows disappearing all of a sudden. Do your research, be cautious about the ingredients, definitely do a test on your hand before trying it on your on your brows and when you do wash your brows make sure not to get the product on your eyes because uh, that's really harmful by the way if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe if you do like skincare beauty lifestyle inspiration i do share a lot on my channel hopefully you're gonna come back and hang out with me in my videos all right guys i want to see you in the next video you guys have a great day and see you in the next one <laughs> bye everyone